This is pyrolithic graphite in its raw state. It can be used in applications like this in thick tiles, or they can be cleaved down along the axis into thinner tiles and used for different applications. It can also be machined on a lathe or a mill process to an extremely high accuracy due to the material's high quality and density. Even fine pieces still hold their shape and don't become brittle or fracture. You can also use pyrolithic graphite in conjunction with other materials. This is a carbon fibre composite that's been added to a tile. This is a tile that levitates with a foam backing. And here's another design which has a plastic backing and has a different purpose again. But the material can also be machined down in the thin tiles and used for heat sinks in high end, high grade electronics. The piece you see before you is a specially designed piece which cuts ice at air temperature. As pyrolithic graphite has the highest heat distribution properties of any man made material and any other material known to man, next to diamond. Pyrolithic graphite also has the highest diamagnetic value of any material known to mankind for its weight. Therefore, it tends to levitate over magnets that are in opposition with each other. Square magnets give you a grid pattern. Round magnets give you a levitating, rotating bearing. Rail magnets give you exactly that, rails. And larger grids can be applied to even different things again, rotation or static. With larger, thicker tiles, diamagnetic suspension levitation can be performed. Basically, you have a large magnet at the top, small magnet to be lifted by the large magnet, and one or more tiles of pyrolithic graphite below, above, or above and below, and the magnet will suspend itself in the right position and remain there. This is a piece of ice and this is pyrolithic graphite at room temperature with no breeze and it still has enough heat distribution properties or capabilities to penetrate the ice quite easily.